Okay, now I want to show you the actual wiring that we're going to do the changes for this lithium upgrade. Here is the schematic for a 2002 club car that I have. So this whole fuse recept, the area where your charging port was, is removed. So with that, all this is being removed. This wiring harness pulled back and I, I'm leaving the onboard computer in even though we're not going to need it because this black wire that goes through the hole which is a CT, a current transformer, that's how the computer reads the amperage that's going through this wire. This wire goes through it and connects to your main terminal black, your negative. So rather than replace that, and the computer works fine, I am going to leave it. So I'm going to leave it installed and leave that in. But we removed this, the whole charging area, because a new charger is going to come in with just a black and a positive connection. So we don't need this anymore. We don't need the onboard computer to actually decide when to charge or what's going on. We don't need it. We don't need to update it because we're not using it anymore. So we're disconnecting this. This wiring harness is getting pulled back and coiled behind it. This red wire that comes over is just being deleted altogether because we don't need it because we're going to have a new red wire coming in off of our charger. So now that handles the power of it. But when it comes to the control, if you look down here, this solenoid dictates whether you, you're allowed to charge or not. And it's connected to your tow run up here. So if we follow this back, so we need to bypass to make sure that this will will run when we're uh, sorry this will allow the charging it will also we want the tow run switch to be enabled because it's going through our onboard computer right now and we need to jumper in order to make it so that the solenoid disconnects when we turn it to tow and to energize this solenoid to connect this red and yellow our main positive coming in when we hit the run switch so we need to keep that intact to protect the controller so if we look at this down here is where this blue wire is what's signaling when we oh, oh, we should energize this solenoid sorry my words aren't working well today <coughs> so <clears throat> this blue wire comes up <clears throat> where does it get its power from <clears throat> excuse me comes up to here, connects, comes down the blue and goes down into, here's your four and two, here's your six pin connector going into the onboard computer, the OBC. So this blue wire right here is what feeds power. See, it comes up and over to close this solenoid. So we need to give that power. Now, if we give it constant power, we're going to eliminate the need for a tow run switch. We don't want that. We want the tow run switch to stay active in this circuit. So as the blue comes down, how do we get that power? Well, we have a red white here, a white. These ones don't, they don't count. So we have our white and red white as options. Red white, if you look at it, it comes over and attaches to here, which right there is attached to on the top of our solenoid block constant power so we don't want that if we jumper that blue wire to the red white we will have constant power you might as well just jumper out this solenoid and in turn makes your tow run switch useless so we don't want that one so if we look at the white one our white comes up and is on the back side of our tow run switch our tow run switch if you look at it here's power incoming on this red white it comes down and has constant power from the top of the solenoid block from our main red right here. So main power comes down, comes up red white, hits our tow run switch. On the back side of it, it comes down and it feeds our white. So this white wire right here has steady power controlled by the tow run switch. So the white wire is, we, is the one we want to use. So we want that tow run switch power to be jumpered over to our blue, which will then come up, connect to here, come down, 
and energize our solenoid. So by doing that, jumpering our white and blue, you should have power come in, come up to the tow run. When you click that, you should still now hear that solenoid lock in because now you're giving power to this blue wire. Hope that makes sense. So when it comes to the power, this is disconnected. We're gonna leave this in. The onboard computer still works, like it's not defective. And uh, rather than take it out, I'm gonna leave it there so that the cart still has it for future for any reason whatsoever. I'm just gonna leave all this as it is. This, the red wire that comes off the top of your solenoid, it just reconnects. I replaced it because this was so corroded it was terrible. But uh, either way, if yours is fine, your black and your red just stay back right where they are. In the back, what we're going to do is take this white and blue wire and I'm going to cut it and jumper it right here on the back side of this connector, on the computer side of the connector. And then that will make that circuit true. So then this is now powered through your tow run as it was before, only we're not using the computer to say, yes, it's okay to send power to here. We're going to jumper that. So there you go. Now let's go see what it looks like in real So now in real life here, off our schematic, you can see this is that six pin connector. So we needed the blue and the white. There's your onboard computer. There's the wire going through the CT, your current transformer. We're going to use that to still connect like I showed on the schematic. We're going to leave that hooked up to the controller and reconnect it to battery negative, even though this will not have power. This is the wiring harness that had your gray and black. I just pulled it all back and coiled it up. It came from your charging port, but we don't need that anymore. But so what we do need to do is on the back side, I am going to take these two wires, I'm just going to cut it right here, and on this side, I'm just going to splice them together. So that way power comes in, comes around, and goes right back out, as per what we saw in the schematic. So you have to do that back here, or that solenoid, which is down there, won't uh, click in and out with your tow run switch. Okay, I did a quick splice here. So you can see I spliced the white and the blue on the back side of the connector. And that should be all that we need to do back here. I left the rest intact. I didn't deadhead the ones I cut, the white and, and blue, but uh, there's no power coming to them. I've removed that because that was the in and the out on the computer, so they'll both be dead. So uh, no point in protecting it, not a, not a crucial thing. But now if, for whatever reason in the future, if need be, it could be reconnected. After doing a lithium upgrade, I can't see ever going backwards, but uh, at least the customer has the option. Okay, and that should be...